dreamt about chucking in the nine to five and starting up your own business, well, knowing where to start, what to do and who to call can help you realise that dream. So we've called in the big gun, one of the big guns from Ten's new hit show, Shark Tank. Please welcome the red shark, <laughs> Naomi Simpson, <laughs> Studio <laughs> Ten. Um, gee, it'd be good to be your own boss, but where do you start? How do you know if you've got a good idea? You know, I... I... Exactly, you don't know. And, um, and you think and then you ask your family and friends and they say, oh, what a great idea, but they don't actually spend any money, you know. I, re I was, had a corporate career and I started my business from home now 15 years ago. And, you know, I thought, I know, because I was looking for flexibility, being a mum, you know, being at home. And um, I thought, oh, I know, I'll start one of those dot-com things. <laughs> and what I'll do, I'll, I'll play with my kids in the day and I'll work at night. You know, how's mm -hmm. that going for me? You know? <laughs> And I remember the kids ganging up on me and saying, Mum, why do we have to go to bed at 5.30? <laughs> Mum's got work to do, you know. Um, and, um, you know, I took the family savings and I spent $25,000 on the website uh, and it came back and I didn't know any, like nobody knew anything about the internet, but it came back and it was red with black writing. Now you're kind of picturing this. And the whole website was framed and, and the only thing it got listed in Google for was skip intro. Do you remember how websites used to have skip yeah. intro? <laughs> skip intro. <laughs> and I, I remember I was out chatting with people and I said, oh, did anybody see my first website? And this ga guy, he stuck up his hand and said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was studying multimedia at the University of Technology at the time and my lecturer brought it in as, a, as an example of the worst website he'd ever seen. Oh. 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 So, so how, important is, mar <laughs> so how mm. important is marketing and establishing your brand if you're starting a new business? You know, it's, it, I started Red Balloon before there was social media. So I didn't have, uh, the access to customers was very limited. So the thing now, if we fast forward, what would I do differently mm. is you can test concepts in social media. And, you know, as we've said before, is the, the most important person to talk about your product, your service, is those people who are paying real money for it. And they're the ones that you want as your advocates. So, uh, you know, it, it took me uh, after the launch of the website, it launched, it like the first marketing plan was dated the 1st of April, mm. 2001, <laughs> April Fool's Day, might have got a little yes. bit on that one. Um, and then by the time I launched, it was the first week of October. Now, the first week of October in 2001 was only three weeks after September 11. Mm. And, you know, I was in the business of selling fun and I thought, well, who on earth is going mm. to buy fun? Mm. And, you know, so in terms of the marketing message, you also have to have to put it in the context of what's going on around you but and you what's never relevant. Do know, but you never do know no. what's going to happen when you start a business. There's I mean, no that's, that's the challenge. I mean, you can start a business and then the GFC mm. comes along yeah. or the pilot strike or whatever. You yeah. don't know. You think, oh, God, if I'd known that was going to happen. Yes. Yeah. I was, I was going to say the other interesting thing came up because we talked about throwing in throwing in the nine to five to start up your own small business. You're actually throwing in the nine to five to work twelve till twelve, That's like right. you're working oh, non-stop. Do, yeah. do a lot of people, and this came up in the first episode of Shark Tank, where you just you nailed someone to the cross because they clearly weren't ready to. To, to really I don't throw think everything we would at have it. Nailed them in a to very the cross. nice way. <laughs> <laughs> Had a stern word, yes. <laughs> but um, look, this is the thing, and this, I see um, lots of people, particularly women, starting businesses at home, mm. which is a fantastic opportunity. And it might be an eBay business or there's a, some particular passion. And all of a sudden, they kind of, it begins to control them. So mm -hmm. rather than them having a nice hobby business that's making some good money, and the other thing that I've seen, you know, when we talk about a man is not a plan, is that once they start to make a bit of money, is how, you know, husband or partner will begin to pop in and go, well, I'll just give you a bit of help on that, uh -huh. you know, and I'll just take that over and I'll do that. And I, I, if there's one thing I say, it doesn't matter the size of your business or where you started. It's what you do with it. Well, no, make sure you really understand money. Yeah. Like, understand that the payment terms and when you get paid and and if you can get money in advance that'll so get a good we've got some great tips go. but yeah. understand the language get paid in advance. she is talking in <laughs> because they can kind of baffle you and talk about things so you know business.gov.au has a great way you know insights into how to start and the sorts of things you should look at we've got some more fabulous tips that we will will put on our facebook site as well and um, to get you all motivated and turn your passion <laughs> into business Naomi's sending our studio audience home with a copy of her fabulous oh. new book, <laughs> Live What You Love. Yay. And remember, you can catch her in action on Shark Tank.
Sundays, 7.30. Is that right? Has it been changed to 7.30? Yeah, we're early. Then we go it's early. Early. Uh, right here. Oh.